Check a pro Joe here on the check a pro radio show with John Phillips from a one garage door service. Hey, John, how are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me on again. You know, when I first met you, I just thought of you as a guy with springs and rollers and doors. You guys do so much. You do storage and I understand you can do epoxy flooring and that's that flooring. Everybody, when you open the garage door, it looks like, you know, someone's floor on the inside, you know, it looks like you could eat off of the floor. And it's usually shiny and clean. There's no oil spots and grease and dirt. And it's easier to keep clean. So we'll talk a little bit about what people can get from A1 Garage Door now with epoxy floors. So we've been doing epoxy floors for about two years now. There was a guy named Chris Hahn that came in. And what's funny is in our old training center, Chris comes in and we actually had a different company before epoxy floors was a thought. And he comes in and he was like, we are redoing all of this. Well, then we have our new A1 Academy. And so the A1 Academy has been open for the newest facility coming up on two years. Right. And what I can say is that as a trainer, I have a wide variety of students that come through different levels, different hand eye skills. And every floor in there, out of our 18 to 20, depending on the days, different doors, has epoxy flooring. Mm. I have had 150-pound crazy rabbit squirrel students that are throwing parts like it's a cartoon. These are heavy springs, drums, metal, hammers, everything. And then I've had people that are, are gentle as a butterfly. But one thing is you wouldn't be able to tell from the floor which bay which student was working in these floors have taken a beating for the past two years and they look just as good as the day we got it now granted do we have our students go through and mop and clean every day that they're here yes that's part of it but there is not a single scratch on that floor and we've had some wild garage door experiments happen where doors have fallen completely on the ground once again students some of them hammer just hitting the floor for no reason whatsoever. And all I can say is that epoxy floors and the solids that we use and the thickness and the way that they do it, like this stuff is built to last. And I've seen it happen with over 700 students now that have just put this floor through the ringer. And it's amazing. So not only does the floor look great, I mean, it looks like a floor maybe in a kitchen somewhere. Um, it it's It's a beautiful floor. But what you're telling me is it's more durable now? Yeah, and it's durable in the process. So so Chris Hahn, he's been doing this since before I was born. Sorry, Chris, I'm not trying to throw you out there like that. I'm just showing his experience. But he's been doing this a long time. And, you know, he talks to me about how they like acid etch and stuff like that. And that's not how Chris will do it. So he actually gets like diamond cut, grades the entire floor. And then we only use the best type of solid. So that's the mixture. And a lot of that, they'll set down and coat this thick, but then it evaporates by like mm. 60%. So then you only have like this mushy filling that's like this much of the surface of your floor. Well, the solids that he gets is only shrinks a little bit and tightens and hardens. So that thing is hard as a rock. And then some of the stuff that I've been able to see that we offer, like the different types of flakes that you can do, it can match anything, whether it's a a tan or a midnight and crazy colors, but my personal favorite are the metallics. Yeah. So the metallics, if you've ever seen those, have you ever seen the the floors where it's just like high flake, almost looks like someone painted a car and mm -hmm. then it's just got these swirls of reds and purples. Honestly, if you weren't quite there in your right mind, you'd think you were like falling into a galaxy. It looks so beautiful walking in there. So if you really wanted to step up you don't even have to do it in your garage necessarily, but just to step up the looks and then also have something that's beautiful that you don't have to be too careful with. Epoxy floors is the number one game changer on how you can completely, you can make your garage a livable space. You might park your car in the living room and live out in the garage after you're done with the floor in there. It's so nice. Certainly for the individuals, usually men, that want to make it a man cave, you really can't make the garage a man cave without it. 
um, right? You had, you need to start with the floor. Absolutely. And of course, you're going to put your TV in there. And of course, you want to get the right garage door. There are some garage doors out there that are just amazing. Um, I mean, it can be full glass now, pretty much. So you can actually be in there. Um, and I'm, I'm sure that you have a glass door as well that would allow the individual to be on the inside and see out, but people from the outside not to be able to see in too well. Yeah, so you can get it tinted, or if you just want the light, you can get obscured. But, oh, just the vision you put in my head of that nice, all black, dark tint, and then you open it up to that high metallic floor that's just smooth like butter. And then if you're Corey Hagen, one of our trainers, he's got one of the new Corvettes. So I think yeah. I'm going to go over to his house and try and bring that image to life. Because, man, that, ooh, that would be a beautiful thing. Yeah. And John, at A1, you guys can do so much with the garage. It's not your parents' garage. Today, things are different. I'm telling you, for decades and decades and decades, for generations, the garage was the garage. Today, it can be a piece of art, literally. John, thank you thank so you much. Bye. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you too, brother. Thanks for having me on. All of John's information, of course, is located in the notes section of this podcast. He's one click away for beautiful garage floors and, of course, garage doors as well.